the Digital Ecosystem Common Toolbox highlights the tools that FCPS provides to teachers and or students. Um, the, the purpose of having this thing is we want to highlight our most important tools and systems. We want to list the tools we want all teachers to know about. But we encourage that these be used before other things. Uh, and then this also supports the, the goal, the division goal of resource stewardship. Yeah, so these are the things we, we buy, we have contracts with, teachers can use without worrying about parental permission. Um, yeah, so we, we encourage that the, these be used before other things because these are, are what's provided and that's just good, you know, good resource stewardship. Uh, just a note here, uh, I am recording this on July 24 and the ecosystem site is still in the process of being updated for this coming school year. Uh, all of the you notice like some of the, the tools listed here don't have their own hyperlink, are not hyperlinked yet, don't have their own page built out, but that will all be completed before our new teachers come back for Great Beginnings on August 10th. So this first page just kind of lists the tools we put in the ecosystem site. Um, in case if you're familiar with the flip book, the, the, the cards we would distribute every year at Great Beginnings. We're just doing that as a, that as a PDF this year. Um, maybe if we get into schools early enough, we might revisit printing hard copies and then send them all, sending them all to you to uh, pass out to your teachers. But for right now, we're just gonna go with a PDF for that. Um, and so then each tool has its own page. So let me just use G Suite as a sample. So for everything in the common toolbox, it has its own page. It tells people who, you know, what is the tool, a little description, who it's for, who it's available to, uh, where, you know, where's the front door, you know, how do I get there, links to any support materials. And then we align it to the learning model. So we actually take the FCPS instructional framework, we look at those characteristics, and we say, well, this tool supports these things for learner-centered environment, these characteristics of curriculum, these characteristics for meaningful learning experiences, and so on. So that's always been there. One thing we would like to add to these pages are instructional examples. And so on the HyperDoc, there's a link to a form. So if you have good examples of how these tools are used instructionally at your school, we ask you to submit those to us and we will throughout the year add those to the ecosystem site to give you know, good, good teaching and learning using, in this case, G Suite for Education or something else in the ecosystem, it's in the common toolbox. Um, we're looking for instructional examples, not how to type type uh, resources. So we're, we're pretty good with like, how do I use this tool? Like, you know, which buttons do I click to, to functionally use it? But if we're going to ask schools to provide examples of how these impact teaching and learning. So if you have some, we would love to have have you send us in those and so that that'll be just fill out that form and uh, get us some examples and we will put those in the update of the ecosystem common toolbox site throughout the year and thank you in advance for anything you give us